Well, one thing's for sure. This took the pressure off of Ashley Theophane uh, losing the fight. So, Floyd Mayweather went ahead and uh, made a statement with Fight Hype with Ben Thompson in the back room right after the fight about Adrian Brunner's remarks. And he basically said, you know, it is April Fool's Day. And that was the biggest joke of the night. <laughs> you know, so, you know, he just wished Adrian the best. And he said when he was coming up, he didn't have a Floyd Mayweather to tell him, you know, from right, from wrong, from what he was doing. He had to learn on the curb. Where Adrian has a Floyd to tell him, hey, you doing this wrong, do it this way, do it that way. So you can amass what I did quicker than I did so you know like he said don't try to be me be better than me is what he's trying to say and he wished him nothing but the best but he also threw out two names two Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter for Adrian Broner it's cause if anybody think Floyd Mayweather's gonna fight Adrian Broner, you know, that's that's a joke. It's not going to happen. You know, but it was nice. It was fun to hear to hear Adrian Broner mention Floyd's name like that. That was pretty good. You know, cuz it got everybody all excited. And fans, you know, they they don't know anything. So they just go off what's the first emotional response ever that they heard, but in actuality, Danny Garcia is in a better spot to fight Floyd than Adrian Broner is. I mean, you fought a fight in which the, the betters, you know, the odds makers put you at a 20 to 1. I mean, you're fighting on Spike TV on a Friday night. And now you're talking mega pay-per-view with Floyd Mayweather. But fans are very stupid and all they see is somebody talking crap about Floyd and his agent Broner he talk a lot and they write with him that's a fight that's a fight oh god Floyd and me he called him out Floyd gotta fight him I'm like people don't understand anything anymore and that's sad it's really sad you know we, we try to be the people with the hold their heads up and and say this is what you should do this is what you shouldn't do we tried to do that and that's all Floyd want to do is he wish nothing but the best for him now let Adrian win some fights against some top level competition I mean that's that's only fair you as a boxing fan should want that let them build the fight up you know, how are you going to go from Ashley Diofane to Floyd Mayweather? It just don't make sense. Let him beat somebody of top-tier competition. Okay, your next fighter fight should be against, okay, Terrence Crawford. Let's see it. I told Adrian Broner that was the guy that was going to be his stepping stone to his wanting to be great. I'm, I'm running the sport. I'm going to be the greatest guy. I'm like, there's a guy out there named Terrence Bud Crawford. Who? Te Bud? Te I don't know. <laughs> this was 2013. We're in 2016 now. I bet you he know who he is now. I bet he know who Terrence Crawford is now. And that's a fight. That's a fight. But why don't you fight the winner between Sean Porter, Keith Thurman, or the loser? Either way it go. You need to avenge the Porter loss. Like you said, that's who you wanted. That's the direction Adrian Broner should be focused in. And like Floyd also said, Outside the ring, he wanted to get his life together. 
But I'll let y'all listen to Floyd in his own words. No one today is April Fools. So, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, that was that was the biggest joke of the night, actually. Wow. Um, I want him to continue to go out there and fight, win. And what's important for Adrian is not just winning. Life after boxing. You know, that's what's very, very important. You know, I, I can remember when I was young, and I've never had a Floyd Mayweather to, to steer me to steer me the right way. Don't be like me, Adrian. Be better than me. And, you know, Tank, he's been listening. You know, I spoke to him today, which is a, a good thing. Just try to, I just want the best for these kids. Um, you know, there's so many huge fights out there. You got guys like Terrence Crawford. I mean, you got Sean Porter. Um, so, you know, there's, there's some fights out there. You know, those are just two names. And, of course, we'll see what the future holds for um, Adrian Brody. You know, I wish you nothing but the best.